good guys welcome back to ron's rides welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where since i'm at maserati alfa romeo daytona beach and the new 2022 maseratis are coming in i had to take this opportunity to take a 2021 spec and compare it to a 2022 spec and i happen to have a ghibli s and the modena version which replaces the ghibli s in the trim level so with that said the old versus the new all right the direct replacement for that trim level is here so why not compare and contrast now options set aside this is going to be a little bit different because this is optioned out differently than this but they're both very similar in price $97,000 versus $96,000. So with that said, they're both very optioned out vehicles. And I want to just show you a couple of things, side by side comparisons on what's new versus what's old for the 2022 Maserati Ghibli lineup. So with that said, let's check it out. If you guys haven't already, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps build up the channel's growth and I get more opportunities to put these beautiful Italian machines right in front of you as soon as they come out. With that said, Thank you for the support and let's get started. Now for the 2022 model year, Maserati has made some very small changes to the Maserati Ghibli, which is why I wanted to do this video. I felt like it was important for you guys to see the differences between the two models. Now you have the 2021 Ghibli S Grand Sport, which basically is the 2022 Ghibli Monna. Now the Monna is actually the Ghibli S Grand Sport just in 2022 um, trim level. So with that said, they are pretty much the same vehicle, but there are some small things that are gonna separate the two. Now, first off being the paint. You see Nero paint here, glossy black, I mean, just standard black paint, all right? So Nero paint on this model here. Now on the Magna, you see Nero Rebelli with the Mika Flake. So that gives you that very shiny look. I mean, look at that. The sparkles and shine, very accentuating for these lines. Now, both models also have the Nurissimo pack, which makes it all blacked out where things wouldn't normally be blacked out, which we'll go over once we go over the full vehicles. Now, up front, you're gonna notice something very, very different, but you wouldn't notice it until you really got up on it. What am I talking about? The new emblem. Now, this is the old emblem, all right? So you can see the Maserati emblem that you've seen for a very long time. I can't even count how many years that emblem has looked like that compared to the new one for 2022, side by side here. All right, you can see there's no red in this one. All right, and it's got the standard or classic, should I say, Maserati blue with white. I mean, again, it's gonna be up to your specific taste on whether you like the old emblem, all right, versus the new one. So again, that's something that you probably will not notice right off the back seeing these things on the road. I mean, look at the front fascias. They're exactly the same because the Grand Sport and the Modena is pretty much the same exact trim level, all right? So you have the full matrix LED lights up front, all right? You have the driver assistance package, big Trident up front. You also have the blacked out grill there, all right? So you see that with the 3D look and the matte finish in the uh, center there for the inserts. You have the big intakes on the side with the side blades, all right, and the big front fascia with the gloss black lip. I mean, all of this is what you're used to for 2021. Then you go over to 2022 and you see the exact same thing, all right? So you see the Bi-Xenon, not, not Bi-Xenon, full matrix LED headlamps, all right? Those same side blades, the same big air intakes, same glossy front, all right? Same um, big trident for the level two ADAS. The big thing you see is the emblem change. I mean, the grill and everything is the same. All right, so you're getting the same body style as you see up front for the previous year as you do for the 2022. Now, on the side, here's where things change. You can't really count on the wheels because they're optional with different wheels, all right? So I'm not necessarily gonna go over the wheels of the two, but the thing they will have in common are the red calipers with white script and the drilled Brembo rotors because the drilled rotors means you have the higher output models for the engine, which I'll go over the engine in just a moment here. But these are two completely different wheels, so I don't really wanna go over that. But what I do wanna go over is, well, the portholes. Above the portholes here is blank. Typical portholes, you know, classic portholes on the side of the fender. Then you have the Grand Sport badge down there. Well, the Grand Sport model is no more. What is though, is the Manna. So, all right, you have that emblem right up front over the portholes. All right, no Grand Sport down there, Manna. I mean, it's all blacked out. It looks really cool with that, you know, cursive script. I think that this, this is one of my highlights, but I'll let you guys know my big highlight in just a moment. But as you can see, 
that is how you're going to accentuate the different trim levels, all right? Now, you do, for both models, have the black door handles and the black mirror caps because it has the Nerissimo package on it, so it's gonna black it out. Same with the window moldings, blacked out window moldings on both ends, all right? And some roofs on both sides as well. All right, now, going to the back. You're gonna know something a little different here. That's a nice blacked out emblem, all right? That trident with the strike through and the spear there, yeah. That looks good, we've seen that before. Now, for 2022, look at it. All right, they both have the same black package on it, but this black package, I mean, completely black trident, and this is the new trident. As you can see, it's a lot more pronounced, it's big, and there's no strike through with the spear there. All right, no circle around it, just the big trident right here. I mean, so you guys let me know what's your favorite between the two. I love this, I love this look, especially blacked out like that. You guys let me know though, between the two, the new trident, which one are you digging the most? All right, then we'll go to the back. And this will finish off the exterior because there's not really any changes when it comes to the rear, as you guys can see. Now, there's a small one. Can you guys notice it? I mean, right off the back, can you notice it? I'm trying to make it obvious, the S badge. All right, so you see the S badge there, lets you know it is the rear wheel drive variant and it is the higher horsepower variant. Um, you don't get the S badge here on this one, you just get the mud in the badge up top and then that's it. All right, so going back to just having the Ghibli script on the side, they're all blacked out or sorry, smoked on these sides here, both sides here, smoked out. You do have the blacked out exhaust tips, all right, and you also have the honeycomb grill with the rear diffuser done in gloss black on the 2021 and same here on the 2022, all right. So, I mean, same exact body styling all right, because it's both the Grand Sport pretty much. And then you have the boomerang and the details for both models here. So again, same body styling. The big difference is, is badging. All right, S badge here, no S badge here. Old Trident here, new Trident here. No badging here, or sorry, Grand Sport badging here. Modena badging right there. And then new emblem, old emblem. So now before I even get in, there's something that I mentioned on every 2022 Maserati video I've filmed so far. This is standard, soft closed doors. As you can see, it pulled the door in. Standard for 2021, but for 2022, not so standard. So we'll do the same thing here. And as you can see, it does not pull in those doors. Um, so with these being heavier doors, um, I always felt like this was a solid option that they added for 2021 standard and um, I am sad to see it go nonetheless. Now, if they spared any expense on the outside, they definitely did not on the interior. This thing is highly specced. And we've seen this car on the channel before, but now looking at it compared, it is definitely one of those cars that, you know, if you're looking for options to check all the boxes, this definitely has them all. So Nero leather, Rosso leather, all right, you have your paddle shifter, sports steering wheel. On the trim here, you do see your carbon fiber, all right, your aluminum there, all right, extended leather all throughout, Neo, red stitching, sorry, black stitching all throughout, Rosso leather here. You have your Harman Kardon system, your plate there in aluminum, your pedals in aluminum. I mean, everything here is just pristine. I mean, look at the piano footy, natural drilled leather seats with the stitch headrest, all right, and Nero, all right, Alcantara headliner all the way through and pillars and your sunroof this thing has it all so um yeah maserati infotainment or sorry mia system maserati intelligent assistant you do have the wireless charging and everything here usb-c usb, usb 2.0 i mean everything that you're used to for the 2021 model year is here uh, so can you guys tell that i did a car switch probably not am i in the 2021 still or am i in the 2022 well they look basically the same Besides the seat option, standard seating here, all right, you don't even have the stitch headrest in Nero, all right? So standard seating versus the sport seating and the um, natural drill leather, I mean, that's gonna be a big option. But other than that, look at this, guys. This is the same thing. I mean, exactly the same. They haven't changed much when it comes to these trims on the interior. Um, if I optioned or out, I mean, this car, like that one on the interior, you wouldn't tell 
that anything was different because it really isn't. So the interior, you don't really have to worry about because Maserati did do a refresh for 2021 when it comes to the TFT screen and the odometer here with the dials and the speedo and with the Maserati Intelligent Assistant and the wireless charging with the USB-C and 2.0 down there. So they did all that last year. So obviously they're not gonna change it that much for the 2022 model year. But when it comes to the options and stuff, we'll just check it out just so you can see the different pricing and the breakdowns. But yeah, this is basically the same. <laughs> And just to show you guys a difference, a $140 difference between the armrest here on the 2022 versus the 2021. This is the 2022 model, all right? Just, cu just cup holders, no optional armrest storage. And with that, I mean, yes, it has storage, but the package is called storage. Here's the difference, all right? So if I go to this one with that armrest package, you can see it still has the cup holders, but it also has charging as well. So that's a big difference 140 dollars for that i get it but i still feel like man I, I would love for that to come standard on 2022 models um it just it's something to add charging back here because other than that you don't have any other charging back here so i love that this has the 140 dollars option i wish in the 2022 models it came standard i'm not sure if you guys care but for the heck of it let's pop the trunk but that's a different term i didn't think i'd be using on this channel <laughs> but let's pop the trunk um this has an accessory package, so you're going to get the mat and everything like that, but still 17.7 cubic feet of space, same 60-40 rear split, um, same goodies underneath. This one we have to lift up, but same goodies underneath with the tire, um, you know, tire inflate kit, the jack, and the battery down under there. Um, so you're going to have the same thing there. Now that had the automated trunk. Um, this one does not, so it's just going to fly up like it slides a feather. Yeah, <laughs> you see that? Uh, uh, standard, I think you should have the automated trunk with the auto automatic lock and, uh, and close. But with that said, 60-40 split here as well, still 17.7 .7 cubic feet. All right, underneath still the same goodies that you're used to. You got a front plate mount here, but yeah, same exact stuff for the trunk as rear. I mean, yeah, and both engines still get that blue shield. You know what that blue shield means? It's a twin turbo three liter V6 pumping out 424 horsepower and 428 pound-feet of torque. That's gonna take you from zero to 60 in 4.9 seconds and a top speed of 178 miles per hour with this rear wheel drive paired to the eight-speed ZF transmission. Now again, this is the Ferrari-derived engine, so this is something that has been in the Ghibli for since it started, and it's going to be going away very soon. The Ghibli might be going away very soon, but that's another video that I've already posted. But with that said, Maserati making their own in-house engines is not too much longer to where we will not see these in any Maserati models coming up. So with that said, definitely enjoy these while they last because you guys know how beastly they are. guys so i have both window stickers here so we can kind of go back and forth between the two and you can see the pricing now standard this will come with this nero rebelli 2022 at eighty thousand dollars or eighty thousand nine hundred where standard for the ghibli s grand sport you're looking at eighty six thousand one hundred and ninety so you're definitely getting standard a better price when it comes to the 2022 model and also keep in mind the fuel economy is barely different all right, for the 2022, you're looking at a combined 20 for the city and highway, 18 for city and 25 for highway. Now, on the 2021, you're looking at 20 combined city and highway, but 17 city versus 18 and 25 highway. So your city is one mile per gallon less on the 2021 mile than it is on the 2022. Um, will that make a big difference? I mean, you guys decide. It depends on how much you're driving these cars. Now, at the end of the day, the price for this one is $96,045. The price of the 2021 is $97,244. So obviously the 2022 is cheaper, but that is all irrelevant because they have different options on them. Now, what I do want to pay attention to, because we've seen both of these cars on the channel, they will, we will have seen them uh, by the time I post this. What I want to see is the options that they both have that are the same, but different prices. So with that said, the full LED headlamps here i believe are an option on 2022 1450 dollars on the grand sport they come standard because here you are in the standard options adaptive full led headlamps all right so that's something to keep in mind 
They're $1,450 here on the 2022, but they are standard on the 2021. All right, so that's what I want to pay attention to. All right, the carbon trim. The carbon fiber 12 trim on the 2022 is $1,500. On the 2021, it is $900. All right, so $600 extra on the 2022 versus the 2021. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Let's see. The gloss red calipers, $500 here. All right, if I look over here, oh man, if they're not on the optional list, they must be standard, right? Do you guys see them here? Gloss red calipers. And you know, if I remember right, the Grand Sport came with gloss red calipers standard. Now, I'm not sure if I see it actually on here. If you guys see it before me, type it in the comments. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that they're standard. I remember, as I remember, gloss, yep, here we go. Gloss red calipers with the um, Maserati script standard on the 2021 versus them being $500 on the 2022. Another thing to keep in mind. All right. Now you have the dark finish on this $300 for your headlamps. Um, I don't think they have that as an option on here either um, for the uh, black package. So that's something that's small to keep in mind. The Nerissimo pack on the 2022 is $1,100. I don't know how well you guys can see that. The Nerissimo pack on the 2021 is $1,100. So that is one that did not change. One thing that stays the same is how black it is. The ventilated seats, you can't count that because they're different seats. Mika paint, can't count that. And the rims, you can't count that. The drilled leather, let's see. Yeah, that's just, that's completely different because this one is 3,500. This one is what, 4,500, I believe, but that's a different seat. So yeah, those are things you can't really compare, but things like the uh, carbon trim, things like the um, uh, brake calipers, things like the headlights, I mean, those are things you can compare and contrast and see the different prices between the two years. And again, you see right here where it says, let me get, it, get in there closer, soft closed doors. That is not a standard option on this 2022. So let's start with this. We'll go over the 2021 very slowly so you guys can see that. All right. You'll see everything that the 2021 comes with standard. Positive need be. Same warranty as well, and same destination and delivery, preparation delivery costs as well for both years. Now you see the 2022 and what comes standard, because it's pretty much a lot of the same things. But yeah, the self-closed doors are gone, guys. I don't know how well you can see that. Sorry about that. Let's try that again. We'll go up this time. But yeah, this is crazy. So it's good to compare and contrast the two on some things that are the same, the things that are different um, as far as the different options that you just can't compare. Fuel economy and stuff like that, you can see it's one off. But other than that, they're pretty close to the same. It's just that pricing, man, that's different for the standard pricing. Uh, a whole $6,000 is a big chunk. All right, guys, so what's your conclusion? I know they're pretty close in spec and really close in price, but with that said, the 2021 has some different badging, all right? The 2021 also has soft closed doors where the 2022, you know, levels up the badging, but it takes away the soft closed doors. And then for 2022, I mean, you get different paint options and some wheel options and stuff like that. But these two here are basically the same when it comes to a lot of things. So is it worth it for you guys to jump into the 2022 model Mona for the same price, I guess, close to the same price, as you would get the 2021 Grand Sport S. I mean, you guys have to let me know. I know this is a special case again because, you know, they're not exactly the same and there's different options available for 2022 versus 2021. But I do really like the 2022s um, and I think it, it really, it, it is the badging. I just really like how the branding is on those and how much more premium they make these cars look. But with that said, you guys let me know down in the comments below, which one are you taking? The 2021 Grand Sport S or the 2022 Mona? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up to rankings. More people can see it and we can have a bigger discussion on the 2021 Maserati Ghibli versus the 2022 model Ghibli. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, you can always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, for my Cash App, 
and for my Venmo, just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate the love and support. You guys can also check out the Rise Rise merch, just in case you want some t-shirts, you want some stickers, you want some coffee mugs, you want some leggings, tote bags, everything Rise Rise is there. I'm also on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, I mean TikTok, see everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo, it doesn't always make it here to the channel. Now with that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Rise Rise video. Peace. Raising it, man.